Today, 27 oil rigs are spread out along the Southern California coast, and 10 of these have now ceased production. Federal regulations require that all offshore oil and gas platforms be completely removed when they reach the end of their operational lifetimes. By the year 2025, none of these will remain. Though each of these platforms cost roughly $200 million to construct, it may cost as much as $1 billion to remove them. That's $1 billion per platform. What could be done with $27 billion if there was a way to keep these platforms in place and to utilize them for other purposes? What if that money could be used to produce fresh water and develop alternative energy to lessen California's dependence on oil? What if these platforms served as receiving antennas for the power beams of space solar satellites, running saltwater desalination plants, and the excess energy used to power homes, cities, and industries in California? In time, the hydrocarbons on which we depend will become more and more scarce and expensive. The pollution they cause will be less acceptable. It is not hard to imagine a future without power. But there is a solution. For more than 40 years, scientists have dreamed of powering cities on Earth with solar energy beamed from space. Today, solar panels are in use in space powering communication satellites. But to power cities and industries, a new type of satellite with a much larger solar array in space is one that is going to be needed. Now under consideration are the new sunsats or power sats that will capture energy from the sun in quantities far greater than anything we have today transmitting energy to receiving antennas on Earth. Offshore drilling rigs are suitable platforms for conversion into sunset receiving stations. As these rigs reach the end of their life as suppliers of oil, they can be repurposed as terrestrial power stations, providing an alternative source of clean energy. Their location offshore also makes them prime candidates for water desalination. Already outfitted with small desalination plants providing fresh water to crew, larger and more advanced equipment will make them prime providers of water for onshore users. One of these units can be scaled to provide fresh drinking water for a small city of 50,000 people. The excess power not used for desalination can be used to supplement the electrical power grids along the coast. This technology is still in development, but with support it will become an operational reality, providing a new source of clean energy and fresh water for future generations.